came in and his hometown in the Bronx entitled was Smoke and the genre is silent film. Yes. Do we have any questions for Tony? I just want to start by saying I was very creative how you use the props. Like, legit. I was yeah. sitting on my seat the whole time. Like, oh, okay, okay. What mm -hmm. made you lean towards that storyline though? Mm -hmm. It's very interesting how you tied everything together. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> One of the elements was I had to, since we only had a few hours to write this whole thing, we had to use the uh, elements that are closest and nearest to us to create um, with no budget or low budget. So I actually own the studio. I've been working with artists throughout the local area of Bronx for a whole bunch of years. So I didn't have to pay for a location. <laughs> I just used my own spot. And one of the, one of the issues amongst um, Musicians is the fact that you've seen it all, all, all on musicians. Di diaries of uh, they start smoking drugs and doing all these different things. One of my favorite artists was ODB, and he done OD over, over drugs. So music and drugs have always played an element with each other. So I just wanted to do something I spoke to that, and um, yeah, that was the, that was the whole the whole aspect of it, that. You know, with, with, with a lot of them, they say, oh, that helps my music and stuff like that. And I've always been one of those people that have been against it. That's my um, stance. But I do with a lot of them that do all different types of drugs. So um, that's why the ending says, don't let this thing, this element, just take over your whole life. So that's, that's what I want to put out there. Any other questions? When she was pictured singing, was she always singing out loud, even though it was silent, or was she miming it sometimes? She was going off. <laughs> <laughs> off. I, I really appreciate. I had to thank her so much for everything. You know, just directing her, just say, "Yo, just go ahead and give it to, give it to me." The scene in the street, it was just like five seconds. Like, you know what? Like, mm, let's just go in the street and just shoot something. She's like, "Right now?" I'm like, "Yeah." I'm like, she just started belting, and I was like, yes, this is what I want. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I definitely had to thank her for just uh, being a participation type role in this, you know, lending her craft to it. I like, okay. um, I like that there were a lot of like bright colors and really upbeat music. Was that on purpose because it was a silent film? Like, it was almost like no dialogue, so like the screen was like really tight. Well, to answer that, the answer is yes and no. So as far as the um, colors, I didn't plan for that. That just ended up happening. The, um, the music I know would have had been a dynamic element to either help convey the message, or it, it, that's in, in the fact if the um, artist that I chose wasn't conveying, or I couldn't push enough emotion visually out of it. So, <clears throat> Yeah, I kind of fell upon that music. That music um, was a last minute element because uh, I didn't read all the rules until like the last minute, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I went through my checklist and then at the end of it, it was like, because I actually filmed this and edited it to um, one of Nas's songs. Um, and then I was like, hmm, I don't think I can use Nas's music. So then I started panicking. The film was done and everything. And I had, a, there wasn't even a plan somebody was supposed to make some music while I got going shot today. So I was like, wait a second. I got to have something. I have so much music. So I found this was a track that was actually mine. It was a novel I never did and just put it in. And because of the um, elements of the saxophone uh, popping in and out the way, I, the way I mixed it, it just felt natural. And I was like, yes, because I only got about 10, 20 more minutes and I got to so, that's how that kind of came about. So, a little, little bit of last minute magic. Do, do I get the point? Yeah, you want to. <laughs> I'll take her. <laughs>
number of us that popped in, and I was like, I create all day with all, on other people's stuff, and I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't do the chopped cheese. And I actually was writing it with my friend Paul, and he was like, we'll just go get chopped cheese from a deli. I'm like, no, we're not getting chopped cheese from a deli. We can do something a little bit better. That was just my my element of thought process. So I was like, let's just name the drug chopped cheese, <laughs> and let's just go because that would do good in, good in the hood if it was really called chopped cheese. <laughs>
Um, none of them. No, no, not to kidding. I slept actually 40 minutes. 40 minutes. And I was like, but well, that was great. 